After taking the trailer for a test spin the other day, I decided I really didn't love the design of the device I built to lock the angle in place, mostly because it only has two points of contact, which allows for a lot of slop. So it was time for a redesign. I planned to use a paper template, so the first thing I did was drew a 4.5 by 5 inch rectangle on my computer and started adding holes, 3 quarters for the middle. Um, I also marked out some half inch and 3 eighths holes. I originally used half inch, but I think that's probably too big. 3 eighths means I'm not going to get as close to the edge and also means less drilling. Um, I thought I'd need more holes so I'd be able to get more angles, but that also put uh, the edge of the holes pretty close in some cases. Uh, then I realized I don't need that many holes. I'm only going 180 degrees, half of a turn, so I only need half that many holes. So when I got rid of half of those, it meant that I would have room to be a little further away from the edge, and I could also put my center hole off-center. Once I settled on this design, I marked uh, X's for the center of the holes and then printed this out onto cardstock. Now that my design's in the real world, all I had to do was rough cut it out, add a slot, and then I could slide it right onto the trailer behind the bearing. So now it's a physical thing, it's in place, and I could make sure that those holes lined up the way I wanted and that it would go to the angles I'd like it to be able to lock to. Now I can make it out of metal. Over at the workbench, I cut out a fresh paper template and I taped it down onto my cut piece of metal. Then I marked the centers with my auto punch. After that, it was over to the drill press where I used an eighth inch drill bit to drill all the centers. At this time, I also thought it would be appropriate to use a compass, although I didn't have a compass, so I used the chuck to mark a curve on the metal. Then it was back to drilling, and essentially I just worked my way up with a couple of drill bit sizes. Uh, unfortunately, the drill press quit working on me, so I had to use my cordless drill, but at least I still had a nice clamp and everything for drilling, and that's what it looked like. That was all uh, 3 eighths three-eighths inch holes. Uh, the last one though was three-quarter inch so I had to use the step drill bit and it turned out the hole in the drill press table was three-quarters so I had to go back over to the workbench to finish off the three-quarters hole for the bolt. We missed a couple of steps on video while my camera battery died but basically here's our end cap with that bolt going through but the plate that I made I slid on I welded it in place and just kind of generally cleaned this up so that I can now prime it. To create my two points of fixed contact, I got a piece of three quarter inch steel tube, cut it to length, and then I'm gonna weld it right onto the post here. Now we're gonna put the uh, brake part on. So now we've got this plate welded onto the axle going to our bearing. This is parallel with the solar panel. And down underneath here, we got that little piece of a three quarter inch tube. And if you look here, be able to drill a hole through that. So now, as I turn the solar panels, you'll see how that plate spins with it and I'll be able to put a bolt or something through there. But first I gotta drill a hole in here. So here's the whole concept. Uh, this pin 
goes through both sides of this little tube, so that's two points of contact, and then through this plate, which is our third point of contact. So if I just pull this back, then I can tilt the solar panels to whatever angle I want, and push the pin back in, and it locks them in place. See the pin go through, and it locks into the plate right there. So unfortunately, building this uh, locking mechanism, I did run into an issue, and that was that on the back of the plate, well, this is welded on to the bolt nice right here, but on the back, the cap to the bolt was a weak joint and the whole thing just twisted torque it broke uh, broke the weld so I put some extra steel in there and welded it which of course made it really really ugly uh, but it's solid and I went my goodness why did this happen I checked on the other side and on the other side I don't know what was different but um, that plate did make it all the way straight onto the cap and had a solid weld between the two so live and learn uh, this side looks pretty good anyways, and the big important part is I can pull the pin, rotate the panels, put the pin in, and lock them in place. So that's what it looks like locked at a 45 degree angle. Uh, in fact, the holes are probably a little too tight. I think I'm going to have to ream them out a little bit uh, just to make it easier to get the, uh, the cross pin in and out. Uh, this would be something like a summer sun angle, assuming that over here is south and the sun's shining this direction, but in the summer, sun's going to be high like this. Summer high angle.